Hi, and welcome to my playhouse. And today I got a question. Well, I got it the other day, but today I want to try and answer a question that I got in the comments of another video. It was actually a video about Hewlett Packard Enterprise servers, and someone uh, wrote that they had uh, gotten one of these servers, an HPE server. Uh, main problem was that they didn't tell me what model, but they got an HPE server and they had taken out all the RAM and uh, now when they tried to put it back in it wouldn't work and I thought yeah that can happen because um, RAM has to be put in in the right order you have to put it in the right slots for the CPUs to see the RAM except if you fill the server completely up with RAM it will work if it's the right RAM and all that sort of stuff but I have gone over this multiple times on multiple servers because it's a, it's a thing that you need to know about that the servers they want the RAM in a specific way there is two CPUs in a server very often if there is not two CPUs but only one CPU it's important to put the RAM in the slots for the CPU that is actually there you want to do that <laughs> but also the CPUs has two or more memory channels in servers that are new enough to uh, be any fun and in the newest servers they have even more in the Intel scalable CPUs there are like six memory channels and in the even newer ones like the AMDs there are eight memory channels it's it's getting ridiculous with all the RAM you need to put in to balance the RAM in there but uh, I'm gonna try and focus on the servers that are a little bit older because I have some of those. The normal, this is the server on the shelf and it's not doing anything so I think we can borrow this. Normally there's a lot of good information on the on the back of the lead here. Oh, Like here. Uh, this is the IBM X3650 model 1 and this one is a little bit special because they didn't put the memory information on the back of the LED here they put it on the riser cards in here that thing all the memory information is right here so let's have that out yeah use the one on the shelf mod and it's gonna be easier right uh, this is the riser card and in this server there is uh, only 12 slots of RAM but they still have to go in in a very specific way and the memory blocks looks like this uh, this server uses DDR2 RAM so this one is occupied with one gigabyte blocks it only has two blocks so they are in slot number one and number four as the as I just showed it it was supposed to go in and these slots are actually pretty nice they're they're well made some of the later versions everything has become so small so getting a RAM block out of there is pretty hard because this thing that you open the RAM block with is so tiny so you have to press very hard with your little tiny fingers to get them out of there and on the plastic here we can see the slots numbers and that goes down here that doesn't go down so I cheat a little bit and I put the number uh, the, the IBM Max 3650 model 1 one in so we get this one on the, on the outside so we can we can borrow this one and here we should have all the information on the lid all right and this is all the information on the back of it and this tiny section up here is about the memory and here we can see that they had divided it up if it has one CPU or if it has two CPUs or microprocessors I don't know why they call it that but it's the CPUs and in this server we can count up to number 18 and it's not as if they don't put them in one two three four five six seven eight nine not at all so if you get this server and take out all of the RAM of it and just think oh, I'll just start at number one and then pop in memory from there 
well you're gonna run into that problem that's for sure because uh, CPU one that one wants a uh, dim tree six nine two five eight and then number one and if CPU two is there that one wants 12 15 18 11 14 17 so yeah you run into um, issues there and this server is rather complicated because as you put in more memory blocks in this you might run into that the last few slots if you occupy those the memory speed will drop uh, that was a thing with this generation of CPUs that it had like three memory channels and if you use the last few um, slots well it would drop the memory speed a little bit down that was a weird choice but I guess they didn't have a choice and they did the best they could very important to put those in the right order otherwise this server is going to be complaining like heck and that is the same thing with the similar model uh, on HPE and Dell they want it exactly the same way it's nothing to do with the server it's really the chipset and the CPUs the server we just saw was the IBM system X 3650 model 3 and this one is the model 2 we didn't see this one the only difference between those two servers is that this model 2 has two memory slots less this has 16 and the one we just saw has 18 but they have built up the memory in the same way. Much more interesting is the Model 4 here. That's a bit newer, but yeah, it's not that far from. So this is in the rack, so uh, it might actually even be easier than, than the other thing. And they have turned it around. Oh dear. We're up to four memory channels per CPU. So this is CPU 1 and this is CPU 2. And they each have like 12 DIMMs. And this is uh, memory channel 0, 1, 2 and 3. And the same thing over here, CPU 2, memory channel 0, 1, 2 and 3. And all of that has to be balanced. And they help us over here that if we have only CPU 1, we have to do it in this way. And if we have one and two, we have to do it in this way. And that's the easiest way to do it. You can also run into the mixing of different sizes of memory. And at that point, it also becomes complicated because you need to do that similarly on CPU one and CPU two to get a balanced memory configuration. And a balanced memory configuration will help your performance of the server quite a bit. I have done some videos on that. And I, I believe I remember that it was something like almost 25% of performance you got more out of your server if you balance the memory. Uh, just because the CPU and the memory works so closely together, it, if it has to handle unbalanced memory, it, it really didn't work well. But the Model 4 here is the first server that had 24 blocks of memory which uh, was awesome back in the day it was really good at virtualization because it had a lot of memory we actually have a hewlett packard server in the rack here so um, yeah if you're also into self-harming you might have one too <laughs> uh, so let's just see uh, how they do it in the hewlett packard world so putting a memory in a hewlett packard server uh, just going over what they do here becomes rather difficult first they have this long explanation of how to actually do it they do also point to a uh, support thing on the interweb where you can go and get more help and then they they have a drawing here about where the different cpus are and they put the memory channels down here uh, one two three four and they have the numbering of the ram blocks up here and then they tell you here population order and then instead of using the the ram numbers they have different uh, alphabet things in the bottom so instead of using numbers they use uh, letters here so yeah it does become rather interesting so you can put in 4 8 12 
blocks and then you need to install them in that order of letters that is in here so we need to fill up all the white ones first so a b c d and then the black ones and the blue ones so yeah i'm sure this can be figured out as well plus there is well, there's a lot of good information over here but i can definitely see someone uh, taking out all the ram for the first time and trying to put that in again yeah that's an issue and this server is the Hewlett Packard Polyens DL280 Generation 9. So that was the one we were looking at. And just to look at something more exotic here, uh, last at the end, this is a RAM in a Blade server. And there is just three RAM blocks in here. And there is uh, a drawing here of which DIM is which DIM. So there is like 16 dims in this one. Oh, sorry, there's 12 dims in this one. And to get to how to put those dims in, you have to um, go to the back of the of the blade server, and they have an explanation down here where they very simply tell you which order the the dims goes in. If there is uh, one or two CPUs, easy, easy. And then it becomes complicated if you want to mix memory sizes because at that, that case you need to, to pair them up and yeah for that you need to go and see the documentation and get smarter on the device that you need to uh, mess with the memory on so yeah if you take out all the memory of your server and try to put them in again you might want to check what's on the lid of the server because that will help you along the way um, this is though a very funny example because I heard that my um, awesome IBM X3650 Model 1 was able to use 8 gigabyte blocks uh, because that server is rated at 48 gigabytes of memory and the 12 slots in there if you put 4 gigabyte blocks in there well you get up to those 48 gigabytes but as I heard that it could use 8 gigabyte blocks I purchased some of these because I was hoping that the server would do more memory than was in the documentation because I had seen that before on the model 2 and 3. Um, when those servers were brand new the memory blocks wasn't very big so uh, they had all the documentation but you could put 16 gigabyte blocks in there and get I think I came up to 256 gigabytes in the model 2 and so I thought maybe the model 1 is the same so I purchased these 8 gigabyte DDR2 RAM blocks which were bloody expensive because they were not made in very significant quantities but it turned out that well they did work in the model 1 but I could only get it up to 52 gigabytes of memory otherwise it would fail so yeah memory is fun if you're just messing around with it. If you have a server and it has failed and you need to get it going and the blocks that you have is not the same model as the ones that are in there and it's not working, not so funny. But if you need some more RAM, I can highly recommend Bargain Hardware. And that's bargainhardware.co.uk in the United Kingdom. And they have a lot of RAM and some of it, like if it becomes a very specialized RAM, I don't know about this block, but like DDR2 RAM, um, very cheap. You pay next to nothing for it. If you have an older server and you need a nice little RAM upgrade, well, you can get a real bargain at Bargain Hardware. <laughs> it's more or less in the name. So, uh, yeah. And if you use the coupon code, the checkout code, and this is only for your first purchase, My Playhouse, small letters, you get 5% off of your purchase I was too many purchases in one sentence sorry but yeah this is for new customers at bargain hardware they can use my code my playhouse and they get 5% off of their purchase uh, I think that's about it uh, so if you have RAM in your server give me a like down here if you don't have any RAM in your servers you can unsubscribe now um, which of course you can only do if you're subscribed in that case if you have RAM in your servers you have to subscribe I don't make the rules, it's just subscribe if you have RAM in your servers. Sorry, uh, no way around it. It's just like you have to balance here. 
Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.